everybody, what is going on? We got some new fights over here on the Global Dokkan. Guys, we got the cord issues. Hang on, one second. All right, we're back, everybody. Um, So, anyway, we got the Supreme Magnificent Battle uh, Trunks fight right here. So, uh, we also got Broly, Chi, and Lemo's EZA. I haven't done their Rainbow, like, 200% EZA, whatever, showcase yet for them. Uh, let me know what stage you guys would want to see that in. I, I haven't quite decided where I'm going to showcase them yet. Um, but for now, what do we want to do? Uh, because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get six orbs with these guys. Let's go ahead and float them off. I'd like to get them on a rotation with this guy right here. They kind of pair really well together, so we'll try to do that. is going to be just fine right here in slot one. The question is how can we maximize orbs for these guys? And I don't know that there's a really good solution here. So, let's just for now, let's grab these with Frieza. Um, we'll grab this orb right here for Broly. And they should be fine right here. Who do we get in slot 7, by the way? Uh, if you guys don't know, in this fight, typically whoever, whoever you get in slot 7, you need them to be pretty good in slot 1 because there's a pretty good chance they're going to get locked in slot 1 um, against the big, like, STR Trunks phase. So, uh, we can grab these orbs right here for Broly, Chi, Lion, Lemo. They should be okay in that last slot. Um, after they EZA, they do get a high chance to dodge. And I did give my Broly, Chi, Lion, Limo a full dodge build um, for turns like this. Because really, to me, the only value that you're getting out of Broly, Chi, Lion, Limo is them dodging. Uh, just like the only value I get out of this cord is it disconnecting every two minutes. All right, you didn't miss much. Um, are you kidding me? No. All right, all you missed was Trunks doing double digits to Frieza. But, um, man, that sucks. Okay. I'm gonna hope that we don't have any more issues for the rest of the video here, but who am I kidding? Usually if I start recording a video and I have issues like this, it's just gonna persist all night until I like restart my PC or something like that. This Elgato HD60X is the biggest piece of garbage I have ever like encountered. If you guys are ever considering getting into content creation, do not buy that. Um, get any other capture card. I, I just, I cannot recommend it. It's not the cord. Um, it's not anything else. It, it is just that, like, Elgato HD60. It overheats so quickly. I don't know what the issue is, but, it, like, I mean, after five minutes of recording, I could cook a steak on that thing. I mean, it, it's actually ridiculous how quickly that thing overheats. But, I mean, I guess you get what you pay for. I don't have the, uh, you know, Elgato 4K or whatever, but look. I mean, look at this. I'll, I'll let you guys watch how long it takes to reconnect right here. Oh, it tried. Hang on. Give it a second. Uh, uh, no. There we go. But here's the thing now. I have to resync the audio, so give me a second. That's the most annoying part, is that after it reconnects, for whatever reason, it doesn't, like, resync the audio. It's behind by, like, five seconds, so I don't... <sighs> anyway, um... Man, I guess I'll do this. I really want to get a stack for this Zamasu, but I don't know that I can trust him in slot one. But should I try it anyway? Let's do it. Let's do this. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, this is probably extremely greedy. I do not need to be playing this aggressively, but are you kidding me? Whew, okay. Um, I also don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but my throat is kind of going like in and out at the moment. Again, I'm not like, I, I keep telling you guys that I'm not sick. I don't know if you believe me or not. Okay, this might have been a huge mistake. Um... <laughs> If Trunk supers us, we're dead. Uh, you know, I I knew that this wasn't a smart play, and I did it anyway, uh, just to be greedy. I I don't know. I definitely should have just kept Broly right there. I I don't know what I was thinking. I I just like I wanted to make sure that Zamasu got a stack in. Uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you other than I. That's that's what I wanted. So we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Maybe that'll come back to bite us. I mean, us only having 160k HP going into the next phase isn't great. At least we will have Rosé um, in slot 1 on the next turn with his full 60% damage reduction since we're on a full Super Boss's team. And since it's his first turn, we'll also have Guard. Um, so that could play to our advantage. We will see. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens on this next turn. But yeah, we're going into the... What is it? STR Trunks. This guy... Is got to be like the most toxic boss. At least on global right now. Maybe the second most if you count um, the new like Goku and Frieza fight. That 17 phase into the 17 and Golden Fe Fre Frieza phase. Oh my goodness, guys. Uh, forgive me. Um, it is. 
I mean, ludicrous doesn't even begin to describe how insane that phase is. Um, we can grab the AGL orbs over here just to get some decent healing. Um, remember that after his first turn, Frieza does need three orbs to get his damage reduction. I mean, it doesn't really matter right here because he's not going to get hit on this turn. Um, very likely that Trunks just opens with a super attack right here, by the way. That's just what he... Okay, he didn't. That's fine. Um, it probably would have been better if he super attacked right there, maybe, depending on how many super attacks Rosé gives us right here. Um, Rosé is guarding still. He does have 30% damage reduction. We're going to need crits if we're going to do any damage, though, buddy. Come on. Be the Rosé Goku Black that people on Twitter think you are. Come on. Don't just be king of normals. <sighs> Guys, do I have the bugged Rosé? I know he was going to do a bunch of normals there for the hidden potential, or for the rainbow orbs, but, um, you know... He could have gotten the, uh, what is it, the 70 or the 50% chance at the beginning? He could have gotten that one. Oh, well. We got the hidden potential and we got the five, so I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. We should be fine right here. Three super attacks, uh, we should be able to tank. And if he wants to super Broly, that's fine too. Broly, after he super attacks, will be able to eat it really well. This is Broly's second turn as well, so he has that, like, was it four turn greatly raised defense attack up? Uh, he's going to have that up twice right here, so I, I'm not... I'm not worried about Broly in this, uh, in the slightest right here, so that, 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 that's good. Um, we also do have support from Frieza, keep that in mind. Frieza is supporting super bosses, so that's really, really good. Um, next turn, we're gonna have Broly, Chi, Lai, and Lemo in slot one, probably, but we will have Goku Black on rotation, who can, you know, feed them orbs. So, hopefully, as long as he doesn't lock, like, Zamasu in slot two, we should be fine next rotation. Even if he does lock Zamasu, we'll still be okay. Um, as long as we can get Broly, Chi, Lai, and Limo their orbs in slot one, that's going to be the only thing that really matters next turn. By the way, this Trunks doing his lock, you know, if he had locked Frieza, or if he had locked, you know, th there's always a good chance that he just, like, locks you and supers you immediately in slot one right there, and he seals, so then you can't super attack, and you lose out on damage, you lose out on defense, things like that, so I'm like, this guy is just extremely toxic. All right, nice. Yeah, they got locked in slot one, so that's that's actually good. We wanted that to happen. Um, we can grab all of these orbs for them. This is actually going to work out perfectly. Remember that um, Broly, Chi, Lai, and Limo, I know I haven't done their video on them yet, but after they super attack, they do give 10% damage reduction to super boss category allies uh, when key is 24. So um, remember that uh, this AGL Zamasu right here, he does have 50% damage reduction. After Broly, Chi, Lai, and Limo super attack, he's actually going to have 60% damage reduction because of his 10% damage reduction support. So, obviously, very, very good. These two make a great rotation. They only really share two links, um, but it is two important links. I mean, big bad bosses, right? It is going to be one of the better links in the game. And boom, just like that, we've recovered from all that damage that Zamasu took right there. So, I would say that it's, you know, I'd say it was worth it to um, put him in slot one right there. All right, nice. Um, Broly, Chi, Lai, and Limo with 100% chance to dodge. Obviously, they're going to be really safe in slot one because they're not going to take any damage. Um, they're going to give that huge damage reduction support to the rest of the rotation right here. Um, Goku Black could start running into some issues just because he hasn't taken any, any hits yet. But I believe the next phase is Int, so I'm not super concerned. Mm. All right, everybody take a water break. Everybody, everybody water break, okay? Go, 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 get, your, uh, go get your water. Everybody take one. Mm. Very nice. Yep, sweet. Sweet Broly, Chi, Lai, and Limo. Um, their value has definitely gone up after their EZA. They are a much better unit, but I would say their overall purpose remains the same. Get seven orbs and dodge. Um, they've just tacked some other really useful abilities onto them. Uh, they've made their support better, things like that. Um, and then they also do just have that 50% chance to dodge, just baseline now. So that, you know, that that is good. Um... All right, so we can transform this Broly that's getting floated off, of course. Um, I think I won't transform him then. I'll put my Rosé... No. Should I keep Broly in slot one? Let's keep the friend Broly in slot one right here. Um, we'll just grab all of those, I guess. And then we won't use any domains yet. Well, I don't, I don't want to use any domains yet. I want to wait. I want, I want to wait until next turn. Uh, well, turn seven, I guess, is when I'll decide if I want to use domains or not. Um, no reason to use one right here. Just because, like, the only one I would have used is that Broly in slot 3. But since he got locked there, I just, I don't, I don't see the point in using his domain and then floating him off. And then keeping the Broly that we can't transform on rotation. That just doesn't make sense to me. 
uh, where I can just float this Broly off. We probably won't see him again for the rest of the fight. And then on turn seven, if we do get this rotation again, I can use this Broly's domain instead and get this guy transformed to get all the damage from there. So um, maybe I could have used Rosé's, but I think we'll be okay. We'll see. I, I think this is the right decision. I, I stand by it. It's the decision I made. Um, you know, we gotta we gotta live with those sometimes. Mm. I'm out of water. I, I I think I've mentioned this in like another video recently, but I'm not like a sip sip gamer. I'm a chug chug like guzzler. I don't I don't know. Oh, sorry about that. I muted my mic. Okay, so here we are on this rotation. Um, this is pretty good. I guess I'm going to keep them in slot one. I want to save a bunch of orbs for this guy right here. And then we got to make sure that we get Frieza his three orbs as well, which should be easy. So we can get seven orbs right here for him. That's going to be great. They're going to be fine in slot two right here. Um, remember these guys, 100% chance to dodge. Uh, these, if I can, there we go. These guys, 100% chance to dodge. Uh, type advantage. He'll build up as he gets hit. Um, also this trunk's going to have his attack lowered. You see up here at the top. He's immune to defense lowering, uh, stunning, and stealing. S stealing. Sealing, but um, not attack lowering. So this Goku Black right here who does lower attack is going to be able to lower his attack. Um, and then I think don't Broly, Chi, Lai, and Limo lower attack now as well? Or am I making that up? No, they do. Yeah. Their 12 key greatly lowers attack as well. Does Frieza lower attack? No, he stuns. Okay. Okay. Um, let's grab those, and we're good. So, yeah, Super Bosses is a pretty good team. Definitely, I really wish we had Cell Max. Um, like, this would be the perfect team if we had Cell Max. Uh, I, obviously, I put him in place of AGL Zamasu. That's who would I would be running instead. Um, but, I mean, things are going really well, as you can see. Uh, we, we ran this. You know, we took a lot of damage. We got pretty lucky that AGL Zamasu didn't get sniped. But I just as easily could have run um, the, the Tech Zamasu in this fight right here. And we could have had, like, like even more success with him on the team. So, uh, I, I think this did work out well. We're doing a lot of damage to Trunks. We're going to be lowering his attack quite a bit. Um, I'm not too concerned going into next turn. This is, like, the first hits that uh, Goku Black's actually taken the entire fight. That's pretty good. Uh, Frieza is going to be fine against normals. This Frieza's awesome. They really did well with him as a banner unit. Very, very, very satisfied with him. Okay, well, he took a little bit of damage, but we're still fine. Like, he took that level of damage, but it's nothing that I need to be concerned about. Um, now, who do we want to transform? I kind of want to do Rosé. Uh, I'm going to put Zamasu in the middle, no matter what. The question is just, who do I transform and put in slot one? I, it's got to be Broly, right? Or, well, should I do Rosé for, like, the, like, thematic, you know, finish here? Uh, bu 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 I'm worried. Doesn't this trunk stun? I feel like trunk stuns. And if I put Rose in slot one and he stuns Rose, I'm going to be really, really sad. Uh, oh, hang on. Ad block expired. Uh, or not expired, but you, you guys know that pop up that you get for ad block that's like, hey, you're using our free service. Would you like to give us money? And I'm like, uh, uh no that's that's no i i would not i would like to continue to use this for free thank you for your uh, donation yeah he does okay so this trunks I, i'm cheating a little bit but he does he does stun so whoever i put in slot one i'm forfeiting their damage so i think i'm gonna put broly in slot one let's transform him Okay, there we go. Very uh, deep speech there from Broly. It's always very moving whenever I hear his words. <sighs> All right, so we can't use Rosé's domain now because El Dokkan. I probably should have played Zamasu's first um, because I am going to play Zamasu's here for the damage. <laughs>
There we go. Um, one thing to keep in mind right here, Rosé probably would tank a little bit better in slot one, um, even though he has lower defense, just because he does have that extra damage reduction for being type advantage. Um, this would kick in here, whereas Broly is just guarding, which, I mean, it, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter. But Rosé does have 60% damage reduction. Maybe I should put Rosé in slot one. Maybe this is the play. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to do this. We're probably not going to get the super attack with the Rosé. There's a very, very, very good chance that this Trunks is just going to super us immediately. This Trunks has a zero cooldown and a 63% chance to super attack. So I, we're getting supered in slot one right here. That's just what's happening. Um, but Rosé does have 60% damage reduction. So just some quick math before we do anything, right? Um, Trunks is supering. Let me go ahead and pull this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm not going to show the full calculation here. I'm just going to show the damage reduction. So Trunks is supering for 3 million. Uh, the way we get that is you can see right here, Trunks massively raises attack for one turn. So you basically take this 750 that he does on normals and you add that to his super attack damage. That's the way these super, like these effects work right here. Um, so like if this was 50%, you would take 375 plus this and that would be his damage. So Trunks does a 3 million super attack. Um, we've got again, 60% damage reduction. So we multiply this by 0.4. So he's only going to be doing 1.2 million to Rosé right here. And then we have type advantage. So I think, like, what does type advantage cut it down by? Let me let me pull this up. All right. Uh, I think a link to this Word document is in the description. If not, there's a link to a Reddit post that is a link to this Word document. Uh, how damage taken uh, works in Dokkan. So um, we are going to be... So we're not guarding anymore, but we are opposite class... We're opposite class type advantage, so our guard multiplier is 0.5. So yeah, it basically is like half. So where's my calculator again? So let's take this and you multiply by 0.5. Um, and then we have 300,262 defense minus 300,262. Um, and then we do have that extra. So I was mentioning that we do get a little bit of extra damage reduction because we um, are type advantage right here. This is going to kick in. But basically, you can see we're going to take less than um, 300k damage right here. Whereas with Broly, Broly, let's see how much he would take. So Broly, again, we'll start at 3 million. Um, the issue with Broly is that, well, no, we are guarding. So, oh man, you got like the type and the guard multiplier. Uh, so it's like, uh, forgive me. I'm probably going to calculate this wrong. It's been a while since I figured this all out. Um, so you would take this and you multiply by 0.8 first. And then from here, what you would do is... Broly has, what, 26% damage reduction with this domain up? Yes, Broly has 26% damage reduction. So you would take this times 0.74, uh, right? And then now you would take out the defense, I believe. And then from here, you would do the guard multiplier 0.5, I think. It's been a while, guys. Forgive me. So, I, like, I, I, you know, maybe, I don't know. Listen, let's just, oh, wait, no. Did I, I did that wrong, but let's just ignore that. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's just pretend. I, I could go over this full Word document. This Word document t calculates, like, exactly how you do it. Let me, sh let me show you guys just so that you can see the formula. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Hang on. You guys can see this. Okay. Uh, where's the formula? It's in here somewhere. I should make a video on this. Ah, no, that's not it. Defense. Uh, dude, this whole, I need to do a video on this. Where is the actual formula? Hang on. All right, here we go. So it's like enemy attack stat, enemy, enemy super attack multiplier. Um, the nice thing about this like page is you don't really need to do these two steps right here. You, you don't really need to do those. Um, and so then you then you have, like, right here, you have, like, the full formula. So, I, you know, I, I could do a video going over this, but you guys can just go check out this Word document and figure it out for yourselves. But point being here is I think we're going to take, like, what did I say, 300k damage for Rosé? Is that what I said? Or 299? Two, around, like, 280 or something like that, I think, is what we're going to take with Rosé. We'll see. We will see. We will see. Let's just grab those orbs for Broly and let's shut up and let this go. All right, let's see. Uh, this should be under 300k. Let, let's see if I am cooked. 
274. Look, look, guys, guys, I know what I'm doing. I did it. I did math. Guys, woo! I did it. I'm not a failure. Whew. There we go. Very nice. All right. We should take this guy out on this turn. Uh, Broly's going to be doing a lot of damage. Kind of disappointed Zamasu didn't get us uh, any additionals right there, but whatever. We'll survive. We will survive. I, I stand by putting Rosé in slot one. Um, I, I think that was the smart play. Maybe Broly could have survived. I don't know. I, I, I should have put more effort into actually figuring out the calculation there, but... Ah, listen, we killed him. That's all that matters, right? If you guys want to go figure it out, you go read the Word document. You write me a paragraph in the comments, and you let me know what would have happened if I put Broly in slot one. Uh, let me know if I made the correct decision or if it wouldn't have mattered. You guys can let me know down below. Obviously, I made the correct decision because we survived and we won and we got the no item run. There we go. Boom. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to catch you guys next time.